JavaScript gives you nearly unlimited control over your HTML pages. And as you learn more about this phenomenal scripting language, the opportunities will become apparent. One of those features that's been around for a while is an oldie, but still a goodie, and it's known as the window.open method. In this video, I'll explain the window.open method and show you how you can do some nifty things with it. I'll start by creating a hyperlink, so ahref equals. Now, we'll just start with null.html. And on click, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, run a function, a JavaScript function called open sesame. Haven't created it yet, but we will. And then finally close that tag and put some text in here so we can see the hyperlink. I'll go ahead and save that now and refresh. Now here you can see the link and if I click it right now we're just going to get a 404 error. So we've used this uh, null.html and it's a non-existent uh, HTML page. So let's change that just to a pound sign. Now the pound sign, save that and go back. The pound sign is a dead reference, so all it does is ensure that the hyperlink is clickable, but when you click it, nothing's going to happen. I'll just go ahead and click it, and nothing's happening. So that's great. That's what we want, because now what we want to do is create our script. Script type equals text slash JavaScript. We want to make sure we have the MIME type in there for the browser. And let's go ahead and create our function. Function open sesame. Just like that. Now, inside the function, we're going to use this window.open command. So when we click this link, the function is going to run, and this is the command it's going to execute. Window.open, and inside parentheses, you put your parameters. And you can see there's a number of parameters here that we can use. Now, the first one we want to use is an actual uh, URL. So for this, we'll just go uh, like this and put in a real URL like that and put a semicolon and save it. And let's take a look. I'll go ahead and refresh the page and then click and it ran our URL. Now, you notice that it ran the URL in a separate tab, and that's because in, uh, in JavaScript and in HTML, you can use a number of different methods for opening uh, a window when you click a link. Now, uh, what we can do here is, let's go ahead and enhance this a bit with some more parameters. So after the URL, we'll put in a comma, and that's how we separate parameters using this command. And then we'll go ahead and put in some more quotation marks, and then underscore. And in this case, we'll start with uh, new. Now, let's go ahead and save that and see what happens. Save. And refresh. And click. Okay, it still created a new tab, but what happens if we try something else? Let's try underscore blank. Go ahead and save that. Refresh and click. Okay, and that also created a, uh, a new tab. So it's really dependent on the browser. These commands can allow you to open up a new window, a blank window, uh, open from a parent or a self. And it really depends on the browser. Let's try some other parameters, though, because this might change what happens. So we'll say, uh, and again, we'll use that comma, and then top equals... 100, left equals 200, we'll say, comma, uh, height, we'll set a height and a width, and I'm just making these values up as I go along, and what we'll do now is go ahead and save that and see what happens, refresh, click, Okay, so now it opened a new window, and that's because we started to give it parameters such as uh, width and height, and also location on the page, so that's what the top and left do. But let's try some more things. Toolbar equals no. Resizable equals no. Now if I go ahead and save that now, and let's make this full screen, refresh, and click... Now, the same thing happened. It opened a new window, but you can see the toolbar is now gone. If you had a toolbar on the top of the page, it's going to be gone. There's no scroll bars. And if I try to hover the mouse over the edges of that uh, window, nothing happens. So we've set it the resizable as no. So you can actually have a lot of precise control 
over the windows that you open using these various parameters. It's a great feature that you can use in JavaScript and allows you to, to come up with some really interesting effects.